In the compulsory German army physical test, I got a T5. That is the worst you can get. And there it went. My only chance to visit places like Afghanistan. Well, who would have thought that I would suddenly find myself on the way to that exact country? The reason I went there was me working for a feature film by director Feo Alada. Just the unit manager and I were sent to AFG four weeks before we started filming. The German army flies from Cologne to Uzbekistan in regular passenger airplanes. It is located directly at the border to Afghanistan, which is as near as you can get without flying over a war zone. The Uzbekistan camp is a comparably small one and its only purpose is to transfer soldiers in or out. Of course it was not allowed to take any footage in the military camps, so please don't tell anyone. The flight from Uzbekistan to our destination, Camp Marmal, takes only about 25 minutes in a Transal aircraft. There were only two sentences before we took off. Sometimes the engine shoots flares, but that doesn't necessarily mean we are being attacked. Any questions? <laughs> we didn't have any questions. We arrived at this gigantic camp near the Afghan city Mazar-e-Sharif. No one really felt responsible for us. So over the days we had to figure out ourselves how to get everything what we needed. Water, new sheets and so on. Ein letzter Gang zum Wäschesalon. Jetzt müsste er rechts gehen. Ah, ja. In our huge tent, yes, tent, soldiers get a real building though, the heating wasn't working. We thought our weather problems would result from the heat, but not yet. Das wollte ich nur mal aufgenommen haben als äh, Tonkulisse. Es regnet nämlich und gewittert. Und ich gehe jetzt schlafen. However, after the heating was fixed, the weather got hotter and we needed our air conditioning fixed. The best decision we made was to leave the camp right away on the first day after arrival. Because when you're in there, you get kind of claustrophobic. Granted, we were in a relatively peaceful area, but still, every soldier tells you how bad it is outside. Diseases, food full of bacteria, attacks, kidnappers, beggars for water and money. That turned out not to be the case, but if we had stayed in there, we would have believed it. Es herrscht, es, es, es herrscht eine trübe Stimmung hier im Camp. Nur noch wenige Leute sind auf den Straßen. Man könnte sagen, es ist eine gespenstische Stille, wenn da nicht der Flughafen wäre. Denn heute gibt es eine Notfallübung und Thomas und ich verlassen fluchtartig das Camp, damit wir nicht, so wie die anderen, ähm, sechs Stunden in den raketensicheren Scheltern hocken müssen, sondern in unserem wunderschönen, nicht eingerichteten Produktionsoffice. With gesturing and a little English on our first day out, we got to see the locations we would shoot at. Against all German advice, we even did eat outside. First meal, Afghanistan. Say hi. Say hi. hi. Say hi. Hi. Madam, hi. And of course, we got our Afghan team to know. They showed us around a lot. And the least thing we could do 
was tell them what not to read. <laughs> Each day we stayed outside Camp Mama and returned when it got dark. We found ourselves a production office outside of the camp because our Afghan crew members were not allowed inside. There we did castings for minor roles and extras. <laughs> We had to order our trucks to be built. We met cute dogs and not so cute dogs. Either of them probably had rabies. We were invited for dinner and even stayed over one night outside the camp. <laughs> Inside the camp, I enjoyed writing some of the fabulous Feldpost postcards. Surfing in the most expensive internet. <laughs> no, we even could make ourselves a good time inside the camp. I think I it. Hello. Oh, rechts. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>